Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about something that I know has been confusing for a lot of people. And that is the 8K resolution on the Insta360 X4. Because this camera is a 360 camera, it's a little bit different than a normal single lens camera. So in today's video, I wanna explain how the 8K resolution works and why it matters so much to have that 8K resolution, especially with a 360 camera like the X4. So first of all, what is resolution? Resolution is the size of the video image that you're recording and it's made up of a bunch of different lines. The numbers of the amount of lines in that image is what defines that name 8K or 4K resolution. For example, an 8K video is about 8,000 lines wide, which is why it has that name 8K. 4K video is about 4,000 lines wide. That's where the names come from. Now I wanna use two different action cameras to show how the resolution is different between a 360 camera like the X4 and a single lens action camera like the Ace Pro 2. Both of these cameras record in 8K but it's quite different the way that they actually record that 8K video. I'll start with the Ace Pro 2. With the Ace Pro 2, you can record in up to 8K resolution, which is why I'm gonna use this as an example. Most of the time you'll record in 4K because that has all the full features and will give you the best footage. But 8K is available on here. When you record a video using the Ace Pro 2, you're looking out of a single lens and a single direction. So basically your frame is fixed on what you're filming. And I got some props to kind of show you guys how this works. So we'll say this here, is the video frame of the Ace Pro 2 when you record in 8K. It's a single frame, you're looking one direction, and you've got a nice flat canvas, basically. Obviously, the proportions are a little different. It's not actually a square, it's actually a 16 to nine widescreen, so it's a little different shape, but this is gonna kind of exemplify what I'm trying to show you guys. However, when you record 360 videos with the X4, you're recording out of two different lenses. So basically, this lens gets 4K, and this lens gets 4K. So even though it's an 8K video, you're never really gonna be looking at that 8K video. So those 360 videos you're recording on the X4 is more like this, which is a sphere. So now you take that 8K video, here's your Ace Pro 2 8K video, and wrap it around this sphere. And that is a little more like what you're getting when you're recording with 8K. You're looking at a certain piece of the action at a time instead of the whole 8K video. Even if you choose to look at one view, 180 degrees, that's basically about 4K. And that's why it's really important to have that higher resolution on the X4. And why your videos, even though recorded at 8K on the X4, they're not gonna look as high definition as an 8K video recorded on the Ace Pro 2. You're never looking at the whole video at one time, you're just taking out a piece of it. There are a couple of different ways that you can display the X4 videos. One is to view it as a VR video, where you've got a headset on, and you can look around the video to see what's happening in the scene. But even in that scenario, you're never looking at the whole scene at once. You're moving your head around and you're only seeing up to 4K basically at a time. The other use for it, and this is probably how most people use the X4, is for pulling a regularly framed video out of your spherical video. It gives you the option to look around that sphere and pull out what you wanna show, create some movement. There's really a lot you can do with that spherical video. However, because you're looking at only a certain portion at a time, you're not gonna be getting that full 8K resolution at any point. So while it's really nice to have the 8K video on the Ace Pro 2 for features like clarity zoom where you can double tap and zoom in and still have that high resolution, on the X4 it's really necessary so that when you reframe those shots, you can have the high resolution. The two highest resolutions on the X4 are 8K and 5.7K. And both of these are gonna give you really high quality video, especially if you use it with a really wide angle shot. The more you zoom in, the more you're gonna lose that resolution because you're zooming in to a small portion of that sphere. So when you're exporting your videos to a 4K single lens video, or if you're just displaying your footage as a VR video, it's really important to start with the high resolution to have more video to work with. For those 4K reframes, you wanna keep it in a super wide perspective. If you are exporting to 1080 for social media, you have a lot more freedom in how much you can zoom in on your shots because you're not needing to keep that really high resolution video. You can take little pieces of it and get some really unique perspectives and some movements and just do a lot of cool things with it, especially when you're exporting to 1080. But all the videos that I like to make for YouTube are in 4K, so I like to work with this camera and just get the best that I can using the highest resolution possible. And that's just gonna give you the best quality content. If you guys wanna learn more tips about your X4, I've got some great videos on my YouTube channel, which you're watching now, and you can check out some more videos. And I also have a book for the X4, which really goes into detail about everything you can do with this camera. Both of these cameras are amazing. They each have their own benefit. But if you're looking for those super wide angle or 360 shots, or that invisible selfie stick effect, the X4 is the camera to go with. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.